Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm Jason. I'll be reviewing a beer for you. Uh, one of my absolute favorites. This is Bell's Two Hearted. Um, it's an IPA out of Michigan. Bell's is a fantastic brewery. I uh, I don't know if I've had anything of theirs that I didn't like. So, you know, that's good news, right? We'll get this baby popped off with that handy uh, Green Flash Brewing Company bottle opener. I'm going to pour it into this Cigar City Brewing Company pint glass. And right away, you got a great color. Color on it is fantastic. It's got a decent head. Um, I like the haze in it. Uh, it's not just a clear see-through IPA, see-through beer. None of that BS. This is a real beer. And honestly, I absolutely love it. You know, you can smell Centennial hops coming off of it. It is an all-Centennial hopped IPA. Uh, if you don't know the wonders of Centennial Hops, find some beers with Centennial IPA. Um, I mean, with Centennial Hops, they're fantastic. Mm. Yeah, that's just as good as, uh, as you may have thought it would be. So, I've been drinking Bell's for many years. Like I said, there's nothing I don't like they do. Their amber is absolutely fantastic. Um, the back of the bottle for you. Brewed with 100% Centennial hops, this Bell's American IPA is named after the majestic Two-Hearted River in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Hold on, gotta drink. Oh man, that's good. You can get the Centennial hops coming through. The malt isn't too in your face. Um, it's kind of dry, which is good for me. That's what I like. I like a nice dry IPA. Um, the way the hops are put forth in this beer makes you want to take another sip. Every time you take a sip, you instantly need another one. And so that alone is something that I can just keep coming back to. Unfortunately, this beer goes super quick because it is so good and it's so mouthwatering. Back to the back of the bottle. Bursting with hop aromas ranging from pine to grapefruit and perfectly balanced with a malt backbone, this beer is well suited for adventures everywhere. Uh, it's 7% alcohol by volume. Um, let's see. Can't say anything bad about that guy. The nose is all centennial, no malt. Check out the lacing. The lacing from each sip stays right there with it. Um, that's how you know it's a good beer. And also, when you have such little lacing, uh, you know, only two of them so far and it's halfway gone, it's another way you can tell if someone's really enjoying it. And the mouthfeel is just right. Uh, not too thick, not too light. It, it covers your entire mouth with dry centennial hops. What else do you really need though? So, Looks like we've got four lines. One, two, three, and four. It took four sips to get this guy down. Man, some beers take an hour, you know? Some beers take 30 minutes. This looks like we're at uh, four minutes and 39 seconds. So, keep drinking, keep having fun, uh, live life to the fullest, and if beer's not involved, you probably shouldn't be doing it. 